Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dion and today we are doing something I don't normally do which is a haul. It's a what I got for Christmas haul. I don't know the last time I've done a haul on my channel. It's not really my MO. I don't like to encourage hauls or consumerism or buying but obviously the holidays. Something that I loved about this Christmas and why I wanted to actually make this video in the first place that I feel like my loved ones really listened to me and my values and shopped sustainable or small businesses or second hands so I really appreciated that and I thought it was a nice way of like sharing how that was possible. So then I went over on my community tab on my channel and asked if you guys wanted to see it and overwhelmingly you guys said yes. So yeah, I mean, I'm 27. This isn't gonna be like that exciting, but we're gonna do it. So if you like uh, fashion videos and sustainable fashion, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post videos every Thursday. And with that, let's get into it. Do you guys like my, my vest? It was my grandma's. Very cool. Look at that, front and back. We're gonna start with what I got in my stocking. I don't have my stocking with me. First things first, my mom got me three of these like giant hair clips. One is in my car already, but like this is to hold a lot of hair. I mean, these, these are really big. So very appreciative. We both have like massive hair. So giant hair clips, like we can't have these flimsy things that don't hold up our hair. We need like industrial strength, so. Love that, super appreciative. My brother put this in my stocking. Put your like toothpaste in here and you can, it's like a stand and then twist it up. It goes for any toothpaste and it, um, so you extract the most amount out of it. So like you're not wasting that much. Love it, perfect, love it, thank you. Another thing in my stocking is this alarm. Uh, I'm not gonna pull it, but if you pull this thing, it sounds a very loud alarm. So it's like if you're in distress, if something's happening, a little alarm since I walk my dog and stuff. My mom wanted me to get this. And it's this cute purple color. And look how like elegant the keychain is. <laughs> All right, so moving on, we're gonna go to the gifts that I first got, which were for, from my boyfriend's mom. She sent the gifts over real early. And she gave me this stunning fuchsia coat. It's BCBG from Macy's, but I do appreciate that like it's 100% like my color. And she saw it and instantly thought of me. It was so sweet and so generous generous of her to send me a gift and every time I wear this coat I get compliments on it. It's looking very neon on camera but it's quite a gloomy day and this is the second time I've had to film this video because the first time the sound wasn't on so the lighting is a little bit off. It's a little bit more fuchsia in person. I've already worn it a ton and I get so many compliments on it every single time I wear it. Then my boyfriend and I exchanged gifts early on because we didn't know if we were going to be together on Christmas. He ended up coming on Christmas Eve which is really really nice but First, he went to my favorite local bookstore, if you're in Connecticut, uh, definitely go. It's called The Book Barn, and he got me a t-shirt. This is one of the spots that we go to like every single weekend, and they sell secondhand books, and they have goats and cats, and it's just like the best place ever. So he got me this, and he got me a Book Barn gift card, which was like so nice. And then Ever the Practical Guy, he got me these two portable chargers <laughs> because your phone's always dying and i was like oh thanks <laughs> so that was very very nice of him and in the same vein he got me these like kind of air tags it's two of the tags and then one of the cards like i figured like you're always losing your wallet and keys so like this would be good for you you know when gifts feel like a little bit like a read <laughs> no it was so sweet and i've already used these things i very much appreciate them <laughs> all right moving on we have my dad what i do for my parents is I just give them like a list and I say pick one or two of these things so that's what happened here he got me this Jerv Avenue jean skirt I've already worn it on Christmas I absolutely love it it's stretchy you can wear it low-waisted or high-waisted I think it's so chic Jerv Avenue is one of my favorite like women-owned smaller businesses I mean now it's become a bigger company but it's still like technically a small business so I really really like them and very very thankful for that he also like a classic dad like slipped each of his kids a little little Christmas cash kind of thing. So I appreciate that too, dad. <laughs> From my stepdad, he's so sweet. My mom told him that I can only wear black or white at work. So he thrifted a little white cami and a little black velvet lock neck sort of tunic style 
for work, which is so sweet. He is like the king of thrifting, so I very much appreciate this. And it was very sweet for him to pick something out because we don't normally exchange gifts. From my brother, we exchanged succulents. I got him a string of pearls and he got me this succulent. He is obsessed with succulents and knows like all about them. So he like repotted it and like told me how to take care of it. So very excited about that. I love the gift of plants because then they just keep growing and you think of that person. My sister-in-law painted me a couple of these little watercolors and so now they're like around my house and stuff. She gave them to me around Thanksgiving as like an early gift, but she also knows how much I love like fashion and stockings and she's a new sister-in-law, which is so sweet. So she got me these little like houndstooth socks and then these socks with bows on them, like crystal bows. So cute, cannot wait to style these. I'll definitely wear these on New Year's Eve. I think they're so cute. And it was so sweet of her to get me a little gift. Alrighty, my mom and I always go all out for each, for each other on Christmas. We always get each other like a bunch of gifts. And she went overboard. She It was a, a Jerf Avenue Christmas from her. So first we got the dream mini dress in the like black floral color. I've already worn it, which is why it's inside out. But I have been needing a little black dress, but as you guys know, I don't like plain fashion. So I love that you can see that there are flowers in it, but it's subtle. It's in my favorite dream fabric. I have pants in this fabric. I'm like, I love it. And I've had this on my wish list for like three years now. So I very much appreciate it. She also got me this, I don't have the tag on it anymore, but this little um, cardigan shirt that like ties in the middle, kind of beach cover up -y, kind of, um, you can wear it as a top, you can wear it over something. I actually wore it over the black dress for Christmas dinner, but yeah, so cute, so soft and slouchy and can't wait to wear this, maybe with the lace cami that my stepdad got me. And then she also got me this top from Drove Avenue. Again, she went wild. I've already worn it, there's no tag on it, so I don't know what it's called, but absolutely love it i love a little tank top those are like my favorite things to wear and something that was also on my wish list was a whisk head for my KitchenAid. my boyfriend kindly got me one last year for valentine's day but it was for the really really big KitchenAid, so it's too big for my mixer and so it gets very dented and i can't really like whip things up still makes do but i wanted just like one for mine so very much appreciate this too because i bake like every single week Alrighty, so from my family friends, they got me this little golden book of Taylor Swift, which I think just like broke a record for most little golden books sold or whatever. I love it. They said like, when we see Taylor Swift, we think of you. So I super appreciate this. It'll be great to read to one of my kids one day. I'll read it to my cat and dog instead. And then they also got me this crochet collage garden which has 100 crochet patterns to do like little flowers and stuff i am obsessed i'm currently crocheting an ebenezer scrooge sort of nightcap and i want to adhere all my little creations from this book onto it as a little like cottagecore goblin night hat and i've already made a couple flowers from it so i i love this book I'm, it's my only crochet book right now so i'm i'm so so excited for this and then they picked up, they said they went to like a, an outdoor market kind of thing and they saw this vintage shirt that is like upcycled. So you can see the tag is definitely like a little old school, but it has um, a like cropped hem and then these cool little buttons. And they're like, if anyone loves vintage, it's you. So I love it. I mean, the color again, very similar to the coat, hot pink, uh, perfect. So good for summer, so good for, I'm, um, yes. Love, love, love. My cat is on the other games. And then lastly, we have, for my other family friends, uh, there's three kids and one of them works at a like secondhand consignment shop. So she was like, if you get anything cool for Christmas, it's from me. <laughs> so I want to shout out to the whole family, but specifically her as well. And she got me this little cami. Again, I love little tank tops. I love little things like this. So definitely going to wear it all the time. And in the same vein, as some of you guys know, I collect like vintage nightgowns and she got me this little like robe. It's kind of hard to show, but it's very like Grecian and has these like cutouts here. It's so cute. I wore it on Christmas as well. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to style it. I think it's so cool. Like I wore it over the Jerk Avenue jean skirt and top as just a little flare and it was so, so fun. 
And they also got me this purse. Again, all three of those pieces were second hands. So cool. I love orange, pink and orange. Like how many times do I have to say it? My two favorite colors, especially together. And it's like crisscross here and suede and then more of a shiny leather in the back. So cute. And then every year they get these brownies sent to them by like one of their aunts. And I, as a kid, would go over to their house and eat like all of them. So now as an adult, they <laughs> always will pack me these little um, magic morsels fairy tale brownies. Does anyone else know about these? They're so, so good. Yeah, they gave me like four of those. I've already eaten most of them. So, but I wanted to see one to show you. Yeah, that about wraps it up. I still haven't exchanged gifts with my best friend Maria. We always get each other cutesy things and stuff, but maybe we'll film together next time we see each other. But yeah, I just loved how many secondhand items there were in this haul. I like that there are plans. I like there are books and practical things that I can use over and over again. Not these one-off things, but things that practicality and, and uh, advance my life in some way. I so appreciate it. And then obviously the Drift Avenue pieces, smaller business and very sustainable in my opinion. So I just love it. The pink coat, everything. I so appreciate. I feel like People really got me this year and like it feels good to not just get stuff but to get things that like people specifically picked out for you and that is just something I love and I love that the people in my life totally do not have the like secondhand stigma of like giving secondhand gifts they're like no 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 it's even cooler to give secondhand gifts so I, I just love it and I wanted to sort of share that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did and definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't expect like a lot of hauls in the future, but again, I wanted to share this because it was so tailor-made to me. It was so, I feel like it was just a really, a good example of like quality, not quantity and like gift giving as a love language rather than like a consumerism thing and just, I don't know. I feel very, very special. So I wanted to appreciate that. Let me know down below what your favorite gift was this year. And what wintry themed fashion videos you want to see from me. If you want to see me style these pieces, follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I'll definitely be wearing them over there. And with that, have a happy, happy day. Bye.